Hi, welcome to your PD education and as you know we are uploading the answers of the questions in engineering services paper 1 or this uh, my small video is for safety. So uh, if you ask me safety may say kitne questions I think for uh, this year there were some five questions which were asked from safety and they were common sense based questions. Now if you if you use the elimination process if you use the common sense uh, then you could have solved these questions uh, from the safety. So let's go for safety questions and uh, first question please read uh, on safety. The first question is this and I'm taking the reference as uh, series D uh, question paper and the first question was which of the following is not the way of estimating the statistical parameter and is integral part of analysis or synthesis task where probability of failure is involved. <coughs> Choices are propagation of error, propagation of uncertainty, propagation of weight, propagation of dispersion. Now, this question is on the elimination ke base pe you could have solved this question. Propagation of error, propagation of uncertainty is the same thing. This one is the same thing. And the question is uh, which is uh, not the way of estimating the statistical parameter and is integral part of analysis or synthesis. That means जिसको हम statistically measure नहीं कर सकते, statistical measurement वो नहीं है, लेकिन that is a part of this entire process. अब if you see error, if you see uncertainty, if you see dispersion, these are statistical terms. These are statistical terms. But if you talk about the weight, weight is not the statistical term. Statistical term is something which you measure as percentage or variation. And weight is not that particular term. So, in my opinion, the answer for this will be propagation of the weight. Now, you read this entire answer which I prepared for you. Propagation of uncertainty, jisko propagation of error bhi bolte hai. As I told you, this propagation error and uncertainty is the same thing. So, there cannot be two answers. If there cannot be two answers, these two are basically not the answers, right? So, left is weight and dispersion. Now, is the <coughs> propagation of uncertainty ya jisko propagation of error bhi bolte hain is the effect of variable uncertainties error more specifically random errors on uncertainty of a function based on them variables are values of experimental measurement and uh, this is what we have done if you read this entire paragraph you will understand that the answer will be only the weight weight is the absolute term which I can measure and it is not measured relative term it's not the relative term that is the meaning of it Let's go for next question now. Uh, in order to limit the seriousness of an accident, uh, emergency control should be provided with which of the following as the determining factor in location of emergency stop. Speed and ease of operation, common sense of worker, nearest exit and checkpoint, supervisor and decision maker. What can be the answer for that? Now you know what is the question? Question is that when we emergency exit, what criteria ko, kis parameter ko hum basically decisive parameter banate hain whenever emergency exit hum lagate hain to what is the criteria speed and ease of operation is the criteria or common sense uh, of the worker is the criteria nearest exit and checkpoint is the criteria what is the criteria that what criteria we put that is the uh, question which is basically given here so uh, uh, nearest exit अब देखो इसमें there was confusion of two uh, basically points there was confusion of two points one is speed and ease of operation and another was nearest exit common sense uh, supervisor decision maker that was not the basically point uh, the question was कि जब whenever I am to put the emergency exit तो what should be the criteria कि emergency exit should be put in such a way that it should very quickly reach to that point और criteria should be that uh, it should be uh, about nearest exit and the checkpoint where should it be located what should be the criteria for that what should be it located so if you see the answer for uh, in my opinion uh, criteria should be speed and ease of operation not the nearest exit because if you see uh, jab bhi hume, uh, uh, emergency uh, emergency stop we have to put the criteria should be ki jaise emergency hai immediately i should stop it not ke exit ke paas mein usko lagau exit is not the criteria but kahan pe bahut jaldi speed aur ease of operation ke saath main usko laga saku that should be the criteria for that for example agar suppose train mein koi uh, problem ho gaya train mein to train mein exit to kahin aur pe hoga lekin train should stop 
और उसके लिए ऑपरेटर दैट इज द ड्राइवर शुड स्टॉप इट एज सुन एज पॉसिबल दैट शुड बी द क्राइटेरिया फॉर दैट सो आउट ऑफ दीज फोर आई थिंक स्पीड एंड ईज ऑफ ऑपरेशन शुड बी द क्राइटेरिया नॉट द अदर पर्टिकुलर डोमेन्स दैट शुड नॉट बी द क्राइटेरिया <coughs> emergency stop may not always be located near exit or checkpoint but it must be located where it can be reached fast and swiftly ease of operation with speed is criteria of location of emergency stop first criteria in emergency are to swiftly stop and cause of such incident then the exit is to be identified so in my opinion ease and speed these are the two criteria which will decide basically the exit okay so go for next question human engineering you know what is a human engineering human engineering is called ergonomics ergonomics is the human engineering approach is followed to prevent the accident by giving due consideration to physical and mental limitation of the workers you know and uh, uh, by what i mean which of the following four is the answer giving constant attention to how a worker is likely to react rather than how supervisor would like him to react imposing too many safety parameters safety rules not permitting to make safety devices or guard inoperative giving first aid attention in case of injury okay what is what do you think is the answer for that ergonomics is nothing but uh, how uh, the person the operator and his work situation should be designed how to design the uh, work worker and his basically work position how to design worker and work position uh, such that physical and mental limitation uh, of the worker should be taken into consideration in my opinion you know uh, this should be answer should be not permitting the safety devices or guards in operative whenever you know whenever some uh, uh, accident or there is a chance of some accident then you tend to behave in such a way that uh, you uh, you you basically Uh, try to behave in such a way that you tend to make the safety mechanism inoperative no ergonomics may ergonomics is all about designing the environment designing the workplace in such a way ki aap usko inoperative na banao that should be the criteria for that not permitting to make safety devices or guards inoperative that is the main criteria giving attention to how a worker is likely to react there than the supervisor ab ye wala jo cheez hai na this is something which is not correct in my opinion so how a worker is likely to react but not supervisor because supervisor will also understand how worker reacts in such kind of uh, conditions in such kind such kind of situations so if you ask me what is the answer for that i think uh, you give more value to how the automatic control should work uh, the tool or machine should control rather than how the worker is going to basically control entire system that should be the answer <clears throat> right human will make the error and you should behave in such a way that uh, human error should also be taken care of that is the meaning of this okay let's go for next question now which of the following is not an operators which of the following is not an operator error through triggers leading to an accident which confuses and traps into making error <coughs> okay you know what is the meaning of this read the all choices faulty design or construction of machine tool poor housekeeping or cleanliness standard operating safety practices and uh, lack of standardization and identification okay which of the following is not operator error through triggers leading to an accident which confuses and traps into making error isme uh, agar tum dekho faulty design and construction of machine tool if the machine tool is not properly designed then the operator may make mistake standard operating safety practices if the safety practices are not standardized then also you can make mistake lack of standardization identification if the uh, standardization is not properly done also you can make the mistake so uh, poor housekeeping and cleanliness is different from all these factors 
so poor poor housekeeping and cleanliness is something which is not related to this and hence in my opinion this poor housekeeping and cleanliness can be the answer for this particular question because uh, if other things faulty design standard operating safety practices lack of standardization is there then you can make mistake uh, i mean uh, if these things are not there then as operator you can make the mistakes but poor housekeeping and cleanliness is something which is not related to these things so i i believe the answer for this will be b last question is which one of the following is not included in safety program for achieving good results during prevention of an accident development of safety working conditions safe working conditions promotion of employee participation in safety compensation and medical payment corrective action when safety rules are ignored okay what do you think is the answer for that <coughs> okay uh, whenever you are designing safety program for achieving a good result during prevention of an accident you know then uh, you need to basically think of designing safe working condition you need to think of uh, giving some kind of incentive to the employees who participate in the safety programs corrective actions when safety rules are ignored so what is to be done but compensation and medical payment is something which is not preventive it is curative it is curative preventive and is saying uh, prevention of the accident accident should not be there accident should not occur at the first place so what basically we should do so that the accident do, does not occur at the first place that is the meaning of it so if accident does not occur at the first place what should what we should do uske liye compensation and medical payment is given at the end it is not given in the beginning it is given at the end so it is not compensation it is a curative thing so i, uh, I hope you have uh, uh, done these particular things and you know uh, we are giving you solution but upsc can give you different answers also so these five question i think were from the safety and they were more common sense questions uh, if you have done this way the analysis which i gave you uh, maybe it is accurate and we need to see we need to wait what is the exact answer from the upsc and uh, let me give you a uh, answers for other topics also we have i have already uploaded values and ethics project management safety now i'm going to upload the quality and economics also fine thank you